What have we got our eye on today? Well, we have our eye on cannabis. We are here at the Miami Beach Convention Center where the first ever USA CBD Expo is taking place. I mean, there's gummies, there's oils, there's even something for your pets. Now let's take a closer look at why this industry is booming. Why Miami and how did you kind of birth the idea for even having a CBD Expo? We host uh, events in a very uh, similar industry outside of the country. We do uh, South and Latin America, Europe, and uh, a lot of vendors started bringing CBD products into our other events, so we thought it was a great idea to bring a, a great event like this to the United States. And Florida's a really a, a big hotbed for a lot of hemp and CBD companies. Taking everything in when you first walked in, what was your first thought? Wow. Um, I'm amazed how many vendors there are, how many different products are now on the market, what can be done with it. As an owner of a store, this has become a very big uh, movement now for people. Although my population is really an older population, they're all constantly asking about these type of products. And I wanted to see the breadth of products that are currently available. And the market has changed in the past year to a year and a half from when I first brought it into my store. What do you think one of the biggest misconceptions is about CBD? I think right now the biggest misconception is that it's uh, it's cousin THC. I think that you know people think it's pot, marijuana. Uh, I, I think that's. I, I also think another misconception is that sometimes it's being purported that it's a cure-all for just about anything and everything. So I do think that there needs to be a little bit better science. I think there needs to be a little bit more education, uh, and that's why we do a show like this, uh, and we do a day and a half for B two B only, where business owners will get to meet. Uh, retailers, distributors, meet the vendors, and then we open it to the public as well because we want the public to get informed. We want these people to tell their story of why their CBD product might be good for the consumer. Uh, we think some of that translation gets lost at the store level. In, in addition to the business side of this event, we have a very good uh, information portion of this event. Uh, we have over 50 qualified speakers that are speaking on our main stage and break off rooms and talking about everything from the science of it, the regulation, the legislation, what's the future look like, what's the past look like, uh, talking about the different styles of CBD, all the different cannabinoids in the THC and, and hemp plant. Um, so I just think it's very important for them to come get an education and maybe meet somebody that they've done business with. Maybe they bought one of these products on a shelf and it did something for them and they want to go say hi to the owners of that company. It's just a great opportunity. So why did you decide to come to the CBD Expo? So I've been exposed to THC and CBD like topicals for a pretty long time. I suffer uh, arthritis. I've had like 12 herniated discs. But two years ago my grandfather had knee replacement surgery and I started making my own salve at home and I do it from grapeseed oil and avocado oil so I came to see some of the exposure of like the different companies and what they're doing to make it more transdermal and with the research lately it's not just like a basic topical anymore now they add like additives to like help it reach your bloodstream and be a better you know more infused topical. What do you think one of the major things you want to take away from okay. this event is? Um, it Kind of getting a better scope on the future of the industry. I just, I've been on the side of people throwing me decks and projects all the time, but I've really wanted to get into where this is actually going and what the people in the industry actually have to say about that, pretty much. As a former athlete, football player, played in the NFL for eight years, I found a product that works and it allows me to relieve my pain. And also, I am an IFBB Pro physique competitor, and I need these type of remedies to help me you know through the day and to continue to perform at the highest level possible. Florida has passed a new law that's gone to an effect that's going to require the QR codes which everybody seems to have that but the next step forward to be sold in our state is going to be the agricultural seal from our state so that was one of the questions I was asking and everybody is gearing up for it at least the bigger companies seem to be so the big thing is quality control testing has shown that these products don't have what they say are in it and that's where the state Texas has already enacted it. We're the next one that's mandating, mandating testing that shows the products have what they have in it. I do see this expanding. I think we're going to see a change in the uh, how these are handled legally. Uh, I, I'd like to even see potentially the DEA moving medical marijuana from a Schedule One narcotic to maybe a three or a four, and that would put it in the controls of pharmacies and have people that are clinically trained managing these people. What is the future of the CBD Expo look like in your eyes? So this, uh, this event will happen on an annual basis. I think that based on the turnout here, it's been fantastic. Uh, the, the feedback has all been positive from our vendors, so we will definitely be back next year. Uh, us as an organization, we'll be hosting three more of these events throughout the states uh, coming in 2020. Uh, we'll be in Las Vegas in February of 2020, and then we're playing with a couple other locations uh, towards second and third quarter of 2020. 
be sure to stay tuned and follow us on I on Cannabis. I am Raquel Goldie. I'll see you guys next time.